Welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss a basic analog communication system. We will basically discuss the block diagram of the communication system, keeping in mind that the nature of the communication system is analog. As of now, all you need to understand about the meaning of analog communication system is that the information signal or in simple words the information or the message which i want to transmit to the receiver side is analog in nature so when this message or the data which i want to transmit to the receiver side is digital in nature it will become digital communication system so we are basically trying to understand what exactly is a communication system what are the components of the communication system and what does it consist of to understand this, you have to remember the basic aim, the basic purpose of any communication system, which is nothing but to transmit the information or the message or the data from transmitter to the receiver. Transmitter is nothing but location, place or a circuit in which the data is generated and receiver is the place, location or circuit to which the data is to be transmitted. So let us try to understand this entire process in terms of various blocks which will be involved in carrying it out. So there is something called as input transducer. That's the first block that we have. Now input transducer, what is it going to exactly do? So input transducer will basically measure some physical quantity, we can say that, and it will generate the corresponding analog message signal. So output of the input transducer is nothing but analog message signal which is available which needs to be transmitted to the receiver side input to the transducer is nothing but the actual quantity which is being measured by the transducer for example if my transducer is the temperature sensor in that case it will measure the temperature of the surrounding and produce the analog message signal which needs to be transmitted in many cases we may not have a, a transducer and we may already have the stored message or data which needs to be transmitted in that case we directly start from the analog message signal so as of now if you want to introduce the transducer in this particular system then the input to the transducer can be shown to be any physical quantity that is being measured the analog message signal which is now available to us will be given to the transmitter of the analog communication system now transmitter is obviously a very complicated block there are going to be a lot of circuits inside that as of now all we need to understand is it's a whole big system which will take the analog message signal and it will convert it into a form which is suitable for the transmission towards the receiver side so analog message signal in its original form may not be transmitted directly so transmitter needs to process the input signal the analog signal and convert it to a form which can be further transmitted transmitter mainly consists of modulator we will see what is modulator later on and there will be amplifiers because whatever is the final signal that needs to be transmitted must be amplified and at the output of the transmitter there will be nothing but antenna so obviously if it's a wireless communication system there has to be antenna antenna is an optional because if the system is wired communication in that case you may not have an antenna the output of the transmitter is now suitable enough to be passed through the communication system the next block in the communication system is nothing but channel channel can simply be defined as connection between transmitter and the receiver so the channel will carry the output of the transmitter which has the information or the message that we wanted to transmit it will carry it it will give it to the receiver block so the very next obvious block that occurs after channel is nothing but the receiver channel can be wired channel in that case it can be something like let's say a optical fiber or any other form of cable which takes the signal from the transmitter side and gives it to the receiver side it can also be a wireless channel in that case the signal will be transmitted through antenna through wireless medium and given to the receiver if it's a wireless channel then the receiver must also have the antenna to start with so that it can receive the signal all right but again antenna is optional because if it's a wired system 
there may not be any antenna the receiver will then have the amplifiers because whatever signal that has traveled through the channel must be attenuated greatly it needs to be amplified inside the receiver before further processing 